Hey everyone, I'm going to do a follow up here on installing the Flipper Zero firmware called Unleashed, which is more of a developer version that I have installed here on the Flipper Zero device. What you're going to need if you have the Flipper Zero device is the device, at least have it charged. You can take care of charging if you just connect it with the USB C cable that uh, comes with the Flipper Zero device. And you're going to need to plug it in and then plug it in via the USB A connection into your computer. And then I'm going to show you how to install it on top of the factory installed firmware that comes with the Flipper Zero device. And it's going to be in addition to what's already installed on there. If you haven't gone back to the unboxing video to show how to set up the Flipper Zero, Flipper Zero device, please do so. There are a ton of other videos on how to install this, but we're going to go to the GitHub page and install the firmware from the GitHub repository from Dark Flippers. And we'll do that uh, following this tutorial right here. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's go to the GitHub repository from the Dark Flippers profile and it's called Unleashed Dash Firmware. You can find this link in the description of this video. And what you'll do is you're gonna notice that this has all the code for this lovely firmware that is developed. Uh, it's actually a fork from a firmware uh, that Flipper Devices actually came out with. This one says it's for experimental purposes only. So you're going to find that it's not meant for any illegal activity or purposes. So I encourage you to stay away from any illegal activity using this, but for your own ethical hacking learning purposes only. So you'll find that there are some dev builds and you can go to the Telegram channel that has all the releases on that as well. You'll see what's changed here. There's a lot of things that keep updated which is really nice. You'll find that the, all the listed features that have been updated and what's changed are listed there. You're gonna find some other information here. You can find the, where to support this product or this project development, all these links here. So what I'm interested in looking over and going over is all the community apps that are included in here uh, are a lot. You can find an RFID fuzzer plugin and a sub gigahertz brute force plugin. A lot of other things such as D author, the ESP8266 D author plugin is also on this. So when we put this, this firmware into your Flipper Zero, all this is gonna be put on there as well. You're gonna find all these other like Wi-Fi scanner plugins, multi-converter plugin, USB keyboard plugin, a wave player plugin, barcode generator plugin, GPIO, Sentry Safe plugin. And a Wi-Fi Marauder companion plugin. What I'll do is I'll show you in this video how to put the firmware onto the Flipper Zero, and all these lovely things are going to put uh, be put on your uh, on your uh, on your Flipper Zero device. You also find that a bunch of games will be installed, which is super cool. So Zoom is going to be installed, Zombies, Flappy Bird, Arkanoid, Tic Tac Toe, Tetris, Minesweeper, Solitaire Blackjack, and all these other. Uh, all these other games and some other changes that are listed here you'll find that are kind of helpful for doing different types of different types of uh, different types of hacking so it's super cool but here are all the instructions so what I want to do is go to how to install the firmware so we will go to this page you can install the firmware via web updater which I found is the best one I've also used the Q flipper application which didn't work so well for me if you if this worked well for you please put the comments in the in the comments section if that worked for you and you have a better way to show how to do that I would love to hear from you uh, if you can do you think you can also install it via Android mobile app or the iOS mobile app so that is really cool, I think. And what I'll do is show you how to install it via the web updater. I'm gonna plug in the Flipper Zero, Flipper Zero device. All right, so as you can see, it was a success. So it was 
finished with its install and updating. So I'm going to click on the continue button. As you can see, it says no updates, which is awesome. So we have successfully updated the firmware. So what the next thing to do is, is to download, follow these instructions, uh, looking at the, let's look at the right set of instructions here. I am going to look at the one that says with web updater because that was the one that allowed me to install it successfully the first time. So what we have to do is we have to go to install via web updater. So once you clicked on the connect button, you're going to be directed to this page where it is showing you the interface. What I did was I went to I went to install the dev version of the firmware and I clicked on the click install. It's going to load the firmware onto your device and you should be done. I'm going to take you through and load all your firmware files with that unleashed firmware resources. A lot of these are tar files and directories with all the goodness from that unleashed firmware GitHub. And once it is done, it is going to tell you and it's going to show you uh, the update is in progress. If you look onto the flipper device, it'll show you the updating and how it's writing to the flash or writing flash, I should say, to the SD card. It's going to take some time, so give it some time and